we are going to get a full-blown call center application running with a script where it can be called and, it, and delivered to an agent. Um, but I want to break that up into a couple of videos because there's some more preparation we need to do first. And that is, the uh, first thing is creating a call control group. Um, so let's think about the call flow for a call center uh, application. It's going to come in through call manager initially. And call manager is going to send the call to UCCX, where it's going to be delivered to a CTI port. And uh, it will be connected to that port as uh, um, the caller goes through a phone tree or whatever. And then um, if it is sent to an agent, it will then transfer the call to that agent extension. Um, so we actually need to set up those ports those CTI ports between call manager and UCCX before we can start building an application. So I'm going to go ahead and get started doing that. Um, so I am in UCCX and I want to show you actually first in call manager that these ports do not exist. So if I go to call routing and route plan report, I'm thinking I'm going to um, have my CTI ports in the 6000 range. So I'm going to put in uh, begins with six pattern or URI, or URI begins with six and all we have right now is one of my translation patterns um, so there are none of those um, currently in call manager so in UCCX I'm going to go to subsystems Cisco unified telephony and call control group and I'm going to add a new one okay and for description I'm just going to call it inbound, and for my lab, I probably only need five ports. Um, I'm just going to leave these how they are. This is not an outbound dialer. You could create a call control group for outbound. This one is just inbound. And then for the prefix, I'm going to put in UCCX, and for the starting number, I'm going to do 6,000. Okay. And then for the device pool, um, I'm going to put it in standard phone, calling search space, um, I'm going to do internal local long distance and we'll leave that how it is and I will put these in the local, uh, not local, um, internal partition and then I'm going to head, click add and you can see we have the in progress and they were added successfully. Now let's go back to call manager and take a look. Um, I'm actually going to go to phone where directory number begins with six. And here we have it. We have our um, our CTI devices. So these are going to be the phone connection between call manager and UCCX. And you can see that it's a uh, um, it has the prefix UCCX 6001. The status is registered. If these are not registered, you're going to have a problem. They're not going to work. And look at the IP address. That is the IP address of UCCX. So there we have it. We have our call control group set up between call manager and UCCX. Well, let me know if you have any questions. I'll get to them as best I can. And if you liked it, please hit like, please hit subscribe. And um, I'm thinking in uh, the next video, uh, I will show you how to download the CCX script editor and we can get started building 